Circling Back Podcast, coming to you live from the Lodge. My name's Will DeFries, my right, David Ruff. You okay? Yeah, I didn't mean to punch the table during the intro, but I just got so fired up for podcast day. Well, there's no drywall for you to punch. So. No. I mean, I guess you could have punched some drywall. Um, I was thinking, uh, in light of the news that it is International Podcast Day, I don't listen to any uh, international podcasts. I, in fact, I was trying to like, think... Are there any podcasts I listen to out of Europe or Asia or do I were even aware of? And Will there's does. not. Maybe some soccer ones. Yeah. Men and Blazers, that's a... Is that UK? UK, right? I'm impressed with you right now. Yeah. Yeah, yep. well, I'm really smart, so... Yeah, if you if you need any soccer podcasts, I can throw them your way and you can just, you know, really ingratiate yourself in the culture. I don't. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. cool. It's weird that Nash International Podcast Day coincides with Podcast Week here at Wash Media. It's really Did weird. we plan that out or did it just kind of happen that way? It just kind of happened. Well, the funny thing is it's always Podcast Day, so I don't know what why today is any different than yesterday. Yeah, but podcast Week only comes once a year. The day before. It's just frustrating to see the commercialization of International Podcast Day, like Spotify and Apple. And keep keep that out of out of my holidays. Yeah. I agree. I don't really like big podcasts unless they want to buy us out for a significant sum of money. Yeah, True. Th- yeah, Perhaps nine that. figures. See, it was nice for me today because Sally knew it was International Podcast Day and she knows how much that means to me. So I woke up, had a little breakfast in bed. She made me coffee. You know, she sent me off to work, gave me a little pat on the butt. It was great. Here's what's cool. Ten Did minutes that really happened? No. Ten minutes ago, I told Parks, who's outside doing school, I said, do you need to go potty because we're about to start recording? He said, no, I'm good. Uh, now he's telling me through the window that he needs to poop. So, great timing. Dude, get I'm your boy, loving, dog. I'm loving this virtual school thing. It's really a lot of fun. I'll be back in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, earlier earlier Parks had to go to the bathroom, and Dylan told him to put his new shoes on. And uh, I just heard from afar. He just said, yeah, Parks, those are on the wrong feet. We've all been there. Dude, we've all been there. I it's have one a theory of those days. that kids' shoes are the same. They, they don't have a left or right because – I don't hate that. Yeah, they don't have like the foot hasn't fully developed. I just think they, they it's a hassle to to do left and rights at like four years old. How did That's you learn fair. how to tie your shoes? Did you guys do the two loops or did you do the one loop with the the wrap around? Um, I've always been a wrap around guy. Yeah, I think double knot, right? That's what it's called. I don't double knot. I don't. Do, I do the one loop and then I wrap the other string around it and tie it. Are there special shoelaces for Jordans that I need to be in on? Uh, you if know. you don't know, you yeah. I know seriously because I I follow League Fits on Instagram and like all the the like the you know the NBA guys walking in with their Jordans like their laces look way cooler than mine. Yeah. Mine look like yeah. like like my dad bought some Jordans and like he just ties them all the way. Up. Yeah, they're like fully tied. So yeah. like the, the the bunny ears are just draping yeah. almost down to like the exactly. End of the shoe. And like you're borderline stepping on it. Mm-hmm. Um, I I need to be in on that. If 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 there's any connoisseurs out there, I want to help an entry level uh, Jordan fan. You just have to kind of know, dude. Like, I, I'm asking for help, Brett. <laughs> I, I have a pair of, like, Yeezy Wave Runners that I got for free due to a StockX deal that we had with a former podcast. I can't believe they let us get any shoe. Yeah. That was, that was like, the greatest deal ever. I was ever. like, sure, yeah, I'll take this uh, $600 pair of sneakers. Let's great. do it. And then, uh, yeah, I see, like, photos of people wearing them online. I'm like, man, those look so dope on other people. And then I put them on myself, and, and I just look terrible in them. I've worn them, I think, twice outside of my apartment, and both times I changed out of them by lunch. Swagless. Ugh. They're tight, though. If Dylan anyone wants them, just like, some. Venmo me. I'll just send them to you. I don't care. Dylan never wears his. He's, he wears yeah. his a little bit. The other day, he was in a bad mood. He said he told me, he's like, I was in a bad mood. I put the Yeezys on this morning. I was like, okay. Are they, are they mood changers? Is that- I guess. He woke the up right footwear can change on. everything. I I have, like, five pairs of shoes. One pair of boots, one pair of Chelsea boots, one pair of sneakers, one pair of, like, nice sneakers. Do I need to be up in my game? And flip-flops, which I wear. Constantly. No, I don't think you do. Okay. I don't uh, I, don't. I, I wouldn't start now. I've never been a sneakerhead. I've never been, like, a footwear connoisseur. I do have a bunch of different chinos. Well, what's fun is that if you decide you want to become a sneaker bed. Sneaker bed. Sneaker head. You uh you follow a bunch of sneaker accounts and then your entire discover feed is just a bunch mm-hmm. of shoppable links of things that you're gonna end yeah. up buying and then you realize that you have a different pair of expensive sneakers for every day, and then yeah. you think about what you could have done with that money and sure. you feel really even worse about yourself. I uh I used to think paintball was my biggest money pit hobby <laughs> back in the day and now it's, I'm like no it's probably probably the shoe thing. Oh you're just golf well, dude. Golf I don't I don't uh, golf at least has like 
a social aspect. Yeah, and maybe there's like a mental health benefit to having dope kicks, but paintball by far was just such a a box of paintballs cost like eighty five bucks. Are you serious? Oh yeah, dude. Dude, paintballs were expensive. What? You didn't, never... you didn't ball back to the no, day? no. I would have figured you and your cronies up there would have. We had airsoft guns. Yeah, we did that. We never too. did airsoft. I had I had airsoft guns, and I would just like shoot people with those. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it hurts, but it doesn't hurt bad. Airsoft was tight because the 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 weapons looked way too real. Yeah, way oh, way too real. My my airsoft gun looked like an actual gun. And you can't like that. They warn you, don't take the orange tip off, or or you are in a uh, load of trouble. Yeah, because they look like rifles. But what did I do in in high school? You took the orange. I tip ripped off. that orange tip off. Yeah, and I just would sit in my yard and just shoot it. Just mm-hmm. the tip. At Literally. one point, at one point, like I had like the giant thing because when you buy airsoft like little pellets or whatever they're called, you buy them and you don't buy like a hundred of them. You buy ten thousand of yes. them. And at one point, I was helping my dad clean the garage and I accidentally knocked over the <sighs> container. Until we moved, there were just airsoft little pellets all over our garage. Are those the least uh, environmentally friendly ammo on the planet? They, uh, if you go to my old house that I lived in in high school, I guarantee that if you went around the yard, you'd be like, "Why are all these little tiny pellets here? Yeah, like what's going on?" Those cannot be good for the local deer. Uh, They're not population. biodegradable. No, mm-hmm. no chance. Mm-mm. Those are little pieces of nylon. Man, I accidentally just stumbled upon the um, meme or the photoshopped debate photo of uh, our president, and then. Uh, He's so for some reason he's debating Dylan, but mm-hmm. Dylan is a glizzy, and uh, I just stumbled upon that pick and man, uh, it is funny. Since he's not here, do we think that this is wearing him thin right now? Is he getting? Is he he's actually going to start getting upset? He, uh, I thought the other day when we, what did we hit him with the other day? The glizzy source. I thought that might have been it, because I just, I feel like he was at a loss for words. The straw that breaks the glizzy's back. Short answer, yes. Yeah. I don't but the video yesterday, that was, we had, you couldn't sit on that. The one from the debate last night actually might be my favorite glizzy Photoshop to date, just because they, I don't know who did that. Do you know who did it? I don't. Whoever did it, they took the time to widen the collar of the neck in order to make sure that it could fit the entire hot dog out of the, the collar of the neck. And that's what I liked about it the most. I have to come back to this? Really? Oh, Dylan uh, Shivery in the building. Come on. I was trying to get away from it before he got back in. <laughs> That's actually one of the better Photoshops. It just makes me happy because you're so happy with yourself in these Photoshops. Like, you, it's a genuine smile. Like, you're in a good The mood. happiest little it's hot dog. It makes that, me happy. In the actual picture, I'm not a hot dog. I'm not a glizzy. So, I'm, like, happy to, you know, I, I was enjoying life. What do we have to do? How hard would it be for us to make a, a Halloween costume uh, the head for you. 30 days. Head? What do you mean? Like glizzy to sell? Head. This is the glizzy head. You can wear under your like, your regular clothes, but like you have the head of, like in the video yesterday. And you're expecting me to wear, to wear this? Correct. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not happening. There has been some, some costume talk tossed around for a spooky season episode. You guys know where I stand. Brett doesn't know where I it's stand. It's going to be hard to pull that off. I know. Oh really? I haven't let it oh, die. I, I haven't let that idea die in my I'm head not, though. I'm not saying we can't do it, or it's not a great idea because it is, but to pull off, it's going to take some uh, logistical maneuvering. The might, studio might, might get tough. messy. Let's put it that way. What are we doing? I'll, we'll talk after. Don't this worry is, about this it. This is proprietary bitch. information. Oh, this is a tease. Mm-hmm. Oh, geez, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I didn't mean to call you Thank a bitch. You. I'm sorry. Yeah, what the hell, dude? I'm sorry, bitch. Hey, can we get some official business out of the way before we really dig into the, the good stuff? Did I miss anything cool? Y'all just no. We talked about airsoft talk about guns and paintball. Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing cool. No. No, dude, it's fun and easy. Dude, you're not cool. That's, <laughs> I picked that's a good point. I picked to differ. That's a good point. All right, first and foremost, go follow Circling Back Pod. We've never been closer to 10.1K followers. <laughs> Crazy. People say that's the number. I'm doing an Whoa. announcement post when we hit 10.1K. <laughs> Can we do like a mystery? I uh, was mystery swipe up. Soon? Mystery swipe soon. Mystery. Just, just post a swipe up. Nobody knows what it's going to be. We dude. might do some mystery swipes. Wow, I'm seeing some a lot of breaking intel right now saying that Dylan it wasn't really Parks who had to, to go to the bathroom, it was Dylan and he was blaming it on Parks. Wow. Where's where this booty, intel coming? There's from? booty oh, chatter no, on the timeline about weird. this. Weird. A lot of people are saying that. Parks took out his Did y'all tweet tail. about it? No. 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 Well then okay. I know, it's weird. How would they know? We should celebrate every one hundred 
followers on Instagram in the same way Dude Perfect does every million followers. Yeah, a hundred percent, dude. On Instagram. The thing is, they get to celebrate more than us. <laughs> like they get a million fast, and we get a hundred. It's, it's like, like, come on, can what I are you stop? Doing? Stop flexing. Like every every two weeks, it's like another milestone. Just enough already. We get it, Chad. Like you're doing, you're, stacking, you're selling, stacking followers. We understand. God, Wait, people aren't talking on the TL. Right? Yeah, they are. You know where they should be talking, though? They should be talking on the Apple Podcast charts where they can leave a review or a five-star rating. Also, every Tuesday and Friday, Patreon, Spooky Season. Happened yesterday. I love Spooky Season. Ooh. Man, it's, it's, it, too spooky it's so much fun. As spooky as it is, it's equally as fun. If you've got stories of your own, send them to spooky at washmedia.com, or you can head over to washmedia.com and just click on the Spooky Season page. Boom. There's a form right there. It makes it real easy for you to submit your stories. It's the intersection between fun and spooky. Ooh. I'm saying is there's still a uh, there's still some chatter about a live spooky season. Live? Live. Like, I thought they might be dead. Uh-huh. Like the band they're going to play for us? Live spooky season? Yeah, they're going to do the entire Throwing Copper album. Good. I, this is all over my head. One of the most odd band of the 90s, bands of the 90s that I actually own their album. What was their super mainstream song I listened to a lot of? They had uh, a lot. They had All Over You. They had Lightning Crashes. That was a really creepy Lightning one. Lightning Crashes. Yeah, that's the one. They had one that was the video. We got a lot of play on MTV. It was like a remake of The Shining. You know a lot about this. Wow. I remember this I asked song. the right guy. You did. You didn't know I was a big live guy. No. For a, a, a short period of my life, I don't. I've never even heard of it. Yeah, you would I, know. You know, lightning crash. Lightning crash. More of an The lead guy. singer. The lead singer had a shaved head <laughs> and a in a rat tail. That's tight. That's Wait, true. That's it was, lit. It that's was, tight. Was not. It was Brett, what are you talking about? What's his life? What's his life? Just don't worry season. about it, dude. I'm just saying. I feel like it concerns be, me. Like I feel like I should know. We may have to plan a weekend around it, but I'm just saying there might be a live spooky season coming up. You want a haunted house? Can we go to like a haunted? The haunted manor that we talked about on the on manor. Manor. Manor? 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 <laughs> Manor is supposed the, to go to Manor. <laughs> Manor is the town. That's where the golf course that we sometimes play. I, so I said the word incorrectly. Yeah, you're going to Manor. Yeah, a reindeer you Manor. want to go play a super mediocre golf course and do a live <laughs> podcast. I guess we could do that. Dude, I'm never playing Shadow Glen again. I hate that place. You, you hate it more than anyone I've ever met. <laughs> I hate Every, yeah. Anytime I've ever even pitched going, you're like, no, I don't play that course. <laughs> no, I don't. Dylan. That seems kind of honest. You know, Welcome to my Manor, Dylan. Oh, what was Wait, that? What where would we where potentially be doing a live? Like, not in Austin? Uh, Yeah. What? Yeah. We're going to well, Salem, North Carolina. Yeah, it doesn't really answer the question. <laughs> there may be a, a ranch involved. For, oh, I see what you, I yeah. see what you mean. Spooky. Spooky ranch. Okay. Hey, we've also got Happy Hour Live tonight. Watch me do YouTube. YouTube.com slash watch media. Go subscribe. Every episode's on there. And also Twitch, twitch.tv. Dave hosted a little PGA tournament yesterday. How'd that go? Really well, I won. Did you? Yep. Blew everybody out. What was your score? Enough to win. Nice. Did I you really win? win? No. Mm. I believe Guac is... Uh, the, the, there's still some people trickling in, but uh, I believe Guac is extra is in the lead, at like 14 under. We played Riviera. Not an easy course. And um, I shot three under. I beat a couple people, though. Shot a 58? 14. Uh, yeah. That's, yeah. That's a that's a solid round. What's the story on Tony Nitro? Terry, Terry Nitro. Terry, dude. I'm Come sorry. on, put some respect on the name. Well, Tony's his older brother. I just I, I know him from the from the club. What do you mean? What's the story? Is he, he was a big stoolie. Does he nitro infuse his coffee? Like his cold brew? Like why does he how do you get that nickname? It's not a nickname. It's his it's fucking his, name. It's dude. his name. Way to go. Okay. Well, he's a fictional character, so I don't you know. He's not. Why you you went three under. Maybe in your fucking mind. Don't diminish Terry's accomplishments, dude. I don't know the story about this. You're being a real chicken butt right now. <laughs> you are. You are. <laughs> oh, man. I had something else. Probably something really stupid. It was. No, it definitely was. And it's, no, no, it's <laughs> slipped my mind, and I'm bummed. Cause about it, Terry? Maybe a story about me and, like, the square or something. What was it? <laughs> you want me to tell that one? <laughs> <laughs> How much time you got? <laughs> Uh, can we talk about ritual real quick? Yeah. Men's diets are falling behind. Over 70% of men don't get enough vitamin E, and up to 97% of men don't get enough vitamin D from their diet. But fundamentally, some men may overvalue exercise and undervalue nutrition <coughs> and may think, uh -huh. if I look healthy, I am healthy. Well, I got news for you. There's more than what meets the eye. So mm -hmm. ritual is introducing essential for men the obsessively researched multivitamin that's formulated to help fill nutritional gaps 
in men's diets. We've all gotten these in the mail. I take them. It's the new two-a-days. Everyone knows yeah. that. I take it twice a day. I wish I lived in a world where I could get all the, the nutrients and vitamins from the food I eat. But it's just, we have busy schedules, man. I, th- this is, I need this. Yeah. I love it. It's like having a safety net. It's like, oh, dude, we got you, man. Take your ritual. Yeah. It's like, oh, I can take this in the morning and be a bad boy all day and still get all my vitamins. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be a bad boy regardless, but. Yeah. It makes me feel good about myself. Like, I'm treating my, my body the right way. I know. As a know? kid, I was like, oh, I don't want to take vitamins. Now I'm a 33 yeah. year old man who's just like, oh, give, give me, me all, all the, the Like, how can I optimize all even the more? nutrients? I need them. And they smell so good. Dude. The bottle itself just smells like a minty goodness, just all wrapped up into some vitamins. It's beautiful. It's, it's like, yeah, that's it. Like I said, it's a new type of two a days from helping support heart health, normal muscle function, normal immune function. This tiny step can have a big impact. Ritual's nutrients are even on display. These vegan-friendly, non-GMO, sugar-free, gluten-free, major allergen-free vitamins are traceable because of where it's from and is just important as what it's for. Ritual always delivers a subscription-based supplement. It's easy to start and easy to snooze. It's only about a dollar a day to have essential nutrients delivered right to your door. Step up your nutrient game with Essential for Men. Get 10% off your first three months when you visit ritual.com slash circling back and start your ritual today. That's 10% off during the first three months at ritual.com slash circling back. All right, I'm going to ask you guys a question. <clears throat> okay. How do you plan on celebrating International Podcast Day? By recording two podcasts today. Are we getting two off today? I might uh, get three if I'm feeling real frisky. R- recording the mail in later. You'll be there. So, spoiler alert. You'll be on the boards today. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm hitting the boards. Call how, me Ben Wallace. How many people are getting two pods off on a, on a Wednesday? Like, not, not many. Not that many. Who's the guest? For what? For mail in. Uh, my wife. No, I, we don't or have. Nitro? She's she's uh, a co-host. My wife. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know Sally was. I did. Yeah, did she's she doing. It? We got Sally. We got the the freezes on board. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it, got it. always it. it always shakes me whenever you say Sally DeFreeze on the podcast because you're the only person that I ever hear her say her first and last name now. I have to tell my brain to say it every time because I just want to say Young. Every time you say it, I'm like, oh, kind of forgot about that. Oh yeah, we got married. Yeah, I was there, dude. We got we a legally binding contract. Oh, literally. Put it to yeah. paper. Yep. Dave, how are you celebrating today? I'm going to listen to podcasts. Really? All day? So I already started this morning. I listened to one. Uh, I'm doing one right now. I'll probably listen to this. And then I'm going to listen to an international podcast. I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. Ooh, which one? Um, I don't know. Um, Maybe one that I see on Xena Weibo. Ooh, I have one for you, an international one, I think. Okay. My dad wrote a porno. Is that international? I think think they're English. I think they're English. Um, Does okay, that count? I don't, I don't want to be this guy, but can I get something that's not English? Can I get something that's a little bit more diverse? How are you going like to understand Welsh? what's going on? You don't speak other languages. You don't know that. If it wouldn't, would it surprise you if all of a sudden one day, like we heard Dave making a phone call completely in German? Yes, that would surprise me. Yeah, you're not stuff. It's uh, that's Russian, I think. No, it's not. It's both. They're similar. <laughs> you forget <laughs> about uh, the just, East and West German. Just all born villains in one person. Us. Yes. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do for International Podcast Day? Oh, Dave had something. What do you, what do you have, Dave? It has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but I just wanted to point out that the golf instructor I'm seeing, when I, <laughs> great guy, when I hit a good shot, when I like get a concept and execute it, his reaction is yes, 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 queen. But he's not meaning to do it. But that's how he says it, and he says it very loud, and it cracks me up. Like I, I just started laughing. Dude, give him a podcast. Podcast day. It is. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to promote one of our podcasts right now. Hey, it's Barrett and Phil from the Club Cool Podcast. Are you interested in style, fashion, maybe the hottest new sneakers, latest and greatest in music or art? Then you need to check out Club Cool. Whether you're ready to chop it up about the newest drops or you're just looking for simple ways to upgrade your wardrobe, we've got a little something for everybody. You can subscribe wherever you get your Washed Media podcasts and follow us at Club Cool Pod on Instagram to learn more. Bang. What a consummate professional that Barrett Dudley is. You know, he did that in one take. Dude, he's the one take guy. That would have taken me like three weeks. They call him one take Barrett. Why? Because he just does one take, obviously. Oh, that makes sense. And I got more breaking news on how I'm going to celebrate. You know what? Celebrate. I just booked a haircut. Oh, wow. Whoa. Where are you going? <laughs> Stop doing the sassy stance. I'd rather not disclose because it's overpriced. No, it's not. I won't say it. I'm going to the boardroom. Okay? Ooh. I'm not doing the, 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 the expensive one. I don't need the I don't are you need going a to massage. the discotheca afterward? Yeah. 
I correct. I'm wearing my Wyatt Dude, should we Coke get bottle shirt. service for International <laughs> Podcast Day tonight? Oh, there's a concept. Bottle service at the barbershop. I don't hate it. I feel like that's kind of done in a, a lower, lower key way. Yeah. Shouts to Fleischman. She just hands you bourbon the whole time. Really? Oh, yeah. That's like a thing now, man. Yeah. yeah. If, you're, if your stylist is not bringing you some kind of liquor or wine, something like that, go somewhere else. Damn. I always turn it. I always turn stuff like that down because I'm I just do like too. I don't want to inconvenience Dude, that. Yeah, like it's three uh, o'clock on Tuesday. You know I what? I just don't need this right I'm now. I'm the guy. Just do you have any of that? Uh, you have any of that cucumber water? Mm. I noticed you guys had some random things cut up in that big old jug over there. You mind? Yeah. Give me some of that fruit water. <laughs> Dude, that that stuff always is so <laughs> underwhelming. It 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 honestly usually just gives me a stomachache. Yeah, the, the orange slices in there always just like gives it a hint of orange, but not yeah. enough that it actually tastes good. Right, and the the worst are like the hotels that are like glorified holiday inns they probably are holiday inns and like you know it's like you walk down and they have them out there and you're like eh how long has this been sitting here mm-hmm. it's like it's the same as a, a public golf course's uh water cooler Dude, it's like you guys really that. rinsing those out yes we are dave i don't try i've seen those some of those car cart lads are Dude, Harbor Point Highest golf fun. course from 2000 yes. <laughs> 2003 to 2006 i was cleaning those things out well every single day I every gotta, single day i feel like you had a better standard up there dude Nothing but the best. Now you just you call the book of tea time, and they basically tell you to fuck off. Yep. Shouts to S- Kaiser. You walk in to pay, and they just spit in your face and say, get out there and tee off. You're like, all right, fine. <laughs> get on the tee box. Over tee a loudspeaker, too. It's yeah. demeaning. It's rough group. Just fucking tee off. You're going to need more. You're going to need to pair up. You're going to need to pair up with the Johnson group. Last call. You're on deck. <laughs> Put your driver away. You're never going to make it. Yeah, your guys are going to need to tee off. We're backed up. Nice fucking pants to freeze. Yeah, it's like, why? How do you we, know my name? We know you're backed up. You guys booked all the fucking tee times, you idiots. <laughs> oh, Anything, man. Dylan? No, I'm just <laughs> listening to you guys. I got nothing, man. The day they told us to go ahead and tee off when we, we couldn't because there were guys in front of us, it was the last draw for yeah, me. Yeah, we, we're, we're flirting with the green, bro. Like, yeah, like, I'm, like not, a I'm not trying to catch yard... a, a manslaughter charge because I, I went deep. <laughs> Why don't you say deep like Scooby-Doo? Deep. Deep. And, Mr. DeFreeze, you pulled pipe, correct? Yes, I did. And um, there were people on the green, correct? Uh, yes. That's how the uh, that was the, that was the law and order. Yeah. You did. Right. Pulled pipe. I've never driven that green. I've gotten close. First time I played with Brad Key and Micah, I drove it, and it's the and that was like four years ago. The, if you catch the wind on that hole, right? You, oh, it must have been like it was whipping like no, fifty was. miles per it hour was. in your direction. It was okay. Hey, can we talk about what Dylan's been just like begging to talk about this entire time? Hot dogs. There's some debates last night. Oh, we talking debate? You were a part of the debate last night, actually. I, that I, was I, very cool to see you. It literally wasn't. You though. were center it's stage weird. on the big screen last night, Dylan. A glizzidente. Are you the incumbent? In what int? Come ah. on, you, you're, 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 <laughs> make, you're doing a lot of jokes right now. You really, you really, you're doing more, less than Letter Kenny though. Somehow, <laughs> <laughs> no one does more jokes in less time than Letter Kenny. And that's what, and and that's what we love about it. Too. I know. Look, do you know how many Letter Kenny references go over my head from listeners? A many, all of them all, actually. Yeah, all, literally a hundred percent. Unless it was in the first eight minutes of the first episode. <laughs> I've probably picked up like certain bits from Brett that are Letter Kenny bits that I don't realize are Letter Kenny bits that 100%. I just do naturally. Yeah. Likely. There's a lot of those in my playbook. Dylan, Man. are you tired after last night? I know it's pretty exhausting to be on that stage just talking for like two straight hours. Who well, went viral last night? Any of us? No. I didn't tweet, man. I, I, I actually pretty much stayed off of Twitter. Oh, Twitter? I mean, what it's what are the biggest volume shooting nights? Night one of The Bachelor or Bachelorette? Oh, yeah. Any debate? Yeah. Those, uh, are, those are the two. Super Bowl. Really? Yeah. Oh, the Super Bowl. Super people big. are just hucking. I halftime show, that. people are just like throwing. Oh, half, half people time talk show. commercials too. Yeah, I feel like yeah, man, yeah, uh, commercials. Award show, Twitter, like Grammys or Oscars. Yeah, I like. I kind of like the award show Twitter though because it's a Sunday night and I kind of feel like I need it a little bit. Oh, makes me feel like I'm hanging out. I also didn't watch the entire debate because it, it made me too anxious. Why? It was just stressful watching two older gentlemen just talk over, talk each, other. over each other and bicker like they're in middle school. I just couldn't do it. Can I just – Can I, I hate to get political, but let me say one thing. Guys, guys, guys. There's been a lot of talk about Adderall in the last 24 hours, and 
This take is probably – I didn't tweet this for a reason because I think someone probably beat me to it, but uh, imagine not wanting your president to be on Adderall. Like, uh, Can you be president without taking Adderall? What? Like, do you, are you guys familiar with Adderall? Like, do you know how much shit you get done? Like, why would I Why would I want the guy who's in office, who, no matter what, or gal, this time around it'll be a guy, unless Libertarian Party pulls it off, they won't. Uh, what? Give him the Vivance. Give him the Addy. Yeah, what's the what's the problem here? Mix a concerta in there. The older you get, the more I think you need it in, in a public office. Yeah, you don't. I didn't need it in college. I don't. I don't really need it now. Uh, talk to me in about ten years. I will need the methamphetamines. I want my president. On meth. Would you rather have a president on Adderall or Nugenics? I hate the thought of us having the commander in chief with low T. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Frank Thomas just walks up and be like, guys. Are you say, wait, are you trying to say that Frank Thomas should run? You mean well, Frank Hurt? The big Hurt. Who called him Frank Hurt? Was that you? Somebody called him. KJ. Yeah, KJ. KJ hit him with the Frank Hurt. <laughs> like, dude, Which is a great <laughs> name. Maybe the next golfer I create on Frank Hurt's PGA. Good. There's old Frank Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Hurt's sponsored by Hooters. Jupiter, Florida. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> He's sponsored by Hooters and like some really generic beer. What was the Adderall controversy? Like, somebody accused Biden of being on it, and they're like, no, 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 you're on it. It's just finger-pointing. Yeah. I don't think it actually made its way to the debate, um, but I just I thought it was funny. Because, like, I've seen a lot of people talk down on Adderall. I'm like, bro, I, I know you. I know for a fact. I don't mean bro. this to be a ringing endorsement of Adderall, but it is a wonder drug. And it, I, I would strongly suggest if you are struggling with something that Adderall would fix it, Pitches it very quickly. Don't abuse it. With people. what? Don't abuse it. Wait, don't no, it depends it. on what you're struggling don't with. Don't use it recreationally. We don't do well, like that. like you can't stay right. awake at the bar? Right, right. <laughs> you want to drink 500 beers? <laughs> no, I don't mean that. I mean like if you are having a, a, a work month where you can't get things done. Adderall. When it hasn't been your day, your week, <laughs> your month, or even your year. Yeah, it got me through school. <laughs> did it really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it did. I mean, your boy did not like to study. It got me through hangovers. It definitely altered my personality, the Vivance. I will say that. Were you just punching holes through drywall? No, constantly? I was just, I was just miserable. Like when after, like I, I, I was only prescribed it in law school, and like at the end of the day, I was just like a shell of myself. Oh yeah, like at the end of a a, a run is is tough. I trying took- to do a long distance relationship and like do like the call at the end of the day, and I, <laughs> I had like you know three class three classes had to go do outlines or whatever, and then get home, and you just crash, and you're just, like, on the phone, and you're just like, uh, hey, but how was your day? Yeah. Like, are you okay? Like, no. <laughs> no, I'm clearly not. No, I don't. I once took it to study for a math test and thought that I was just going to absolutely crush that math test. Yeah, fast forward eight hours, and I read an entire novel front to back. Didn't study once. <clears throat> I mentioned the time that I had two finals to study for, and I so I took some Adderall, and I got so into studying for final one – I totally forgot to study for final two. I love that. I like the, the idea I was on my of way to school. walking around like being like, oh, dude, I crushed this. I'm going to murder this I was test. driving to school, and I, when I realized it, I was like, oh, my God. I forgot to study for my second test. you call it a bomb today. threat? Um, Be honest. I forgot, how, no, I forgot how I handled it. I think I, I think I faked being sick for my second one, actually. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> my pre-chem yeah. teacher in freshman year of high school, he he hit me with the, yeah, you're, you're sick a lot on uh, test days. <laughs> I wanted to be like, yeah, there's a reason. It's because uh, I'm really bad at your subjects, and I don't know how to do chemistry. <laughs> yeah, it's I, like a class. I hate pre-chem. Yeah, it's like, no, it's because I need a few extra days. If you see my grades in your class, you understand why. No coincidence, sir yeah. or madam. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I can't get past that. I, I mean, you really do drink 100 beers on Adderall. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, like, I'm not going to say I haven't taken it before a bachelor party on, like, Thursday, Friday, because that really just kind of propels you through the weekend. Oh, see, I'm more of a Saturday guy in the bachelor party. When I'm oh, like, you take it to get I'm back. I'm dead, and you, I'm like, you get, ah. You get back. Are you with, who are you with, though? Are you with the boys? or dude, You're always with the boys, dude. Dude, you're with the boys. <laughs> Just looking around like, oh, with the boys. The boys are here. Yeah. Oh, dear boys are here. Like, Hunter, can you steal some from your dad before you head to this bachelor party? Gee, okay, dude. Why are you stealing it? He took he, he took enough strays last night. Yeah, he had a, he had a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! All right, we don't have to. Oh. Guys, guys, yes. I, I don't yeah, want to talk yeah, about the debate. Yeah, right. yeah. Staying out of politics, but I mean, Twitter, Twitter see. is a bad place. Oh, Twitter's scary right now. The people who yeah. are like trying to like get 
certain things trending so it looks like their guy won. It's just like, dude, you stop. This is just bad. No, last night was, Not good. That last night was a watch the debate, immediately sign off uh, from being online and go watch something as mindless as humanly possible. It was like trying to corral a bunch of like first graders, uh-huh. you know? The one like, t- stop doing this, please, and then just <laughs> do it over and over again. Do you see Trump retweeted someone saying that they wanted Rogan? The If you think Rogan is the answer to that, you are sadly, sadly mistaken. I will tell you that right now. And I didn't think Chris Wallace did a bad job. Like, he was getting a lot of heat. I'm like, what? what's he supposed to do? He can't cut off their yeah, mics. Yeah. He, I mean, what, is he going to just... He was handcuffed, man. He was. And, you know, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. they need Chuck Todd. <laughs> Chucky e. T. You got to get the Caesar in there. He needs eugenics. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck if you don't Todd. have... Look, he was appalled by what he saw last night. And I don't, know, I, I don't blame him, man, because at the end of the day... It, the fact that the Caesar wasn't asked to get in there, the Caesar and the beard combo now, that one two punch, get it in there. Give me some Chuck Teasy. I'm trying to think of like a meet the press pun. Like meet the Carlos Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Todd. Is that this podcast that we talked about? Carlos Chuck? Norris? Carlos Norris. Yeah. Who's our next was. who's our next moderator? Is it Rogan? No, no. it's it's Adam Carolla of the Man Show. Which pod? Okay, it's International Podcast Day. Which podcast do you want the next moderator to be from? Dan Carlin. If it can't be this one, Hardcore. Dan history. Carlin, Quotes. Hardcore History. I want the guys from Come Town. God, I don't listen to podcasts. So I, I, <laughs> I don't. Uh, Oh, call her daddy. We do this for a living. Yeah, let's get the call her daddy girls up there. Actually, it would be funny. Like, PF, Who is it now? PFT would, no crush, PFT would crush a debate moderator. Oh, he would. PFT would be fantastic. Just up there in his sunglasses. He, 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 would, he would really do a good job. God, now, now I want that to happen. What if we had Al Glizadenta himself doing it? No, nah, I don't want that role, man. Mr. How, President. Man, please. it would be a real shame if Preston made a video of... Um, it's like cameras on them, and they're going back and forth, and they pan over to the moderator, and instead of Chris Wallace, it's <laughs> it's just a glizzy, like trying to get a word in. Like, uh, how much run can we get out of this this glizzy nonsense? <sighs> Likely, I thought it was over until today, <laughs> until we just put your head on something else. Yeah, no, that, we're not putting it, your head on a. Be, I, it, no, people it, are are tagging me in like any kind of hot dog. I know news that comes across this is what happens. It's I've been fault. craving hot dogs. There's a new. There's a hot Dude, dog. I, there's a hot dog pop-up stand in Austin somewhere, and people were letting me know about it. Let's go. Right. It, it, it looks kind of good. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, hey, I had Italian sausage for dinner last night. Really? Sausage and peppers, yeah. What, tell me what I should have done in this situation yesterday. I was at the grocery store, and I was trying to get some bratwurst so that I could use some relish that I bought. I got some artisanal relish. Oh, that's tight. If you want to come over, I can share what some. That's somehow what the most sentence? punchable artisanal. It's just relish, dude. Artisanal. What makes relish? it artisanal? What's the difference between relish dude, and it's jam? It's just high end relish, dude. Oh my god. It's just high end relish. What's uh, the difference between relish and jam? Bitch? That I'd relish the opportunity to jam my fist in your face. Wow, Damn, dude. That's, good. that's tight. Adderall. So yeah, I took a bunch of Adderall <laughs> before doing this today. Uh, I, I was, I was sitting there and I was waiting to get some brats, and the 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 guy in front of me in line to get his meat was talking to the butcher about his recipes and stuff. And oh. There was only one butcher working at this point. And so he was Where are you, by the way? Central Market. Oh. There's four people behind me. So there's five of us waiting to go get some. We just want the meats. People like that infuriate me. I was like, dude, oh, no one cares about your re- red wine sauce right now, dude. Like, I'm trying to get some brats off. We're not all so, on your time. The Central Market butcher, we probably have the same butcher because we go to the same Central Market. He told me once about... I asked him about cutting if they could cut off the membrane on the back of the ribs before you know I got him. Was it too insane in for you? He told me, <laughs> he told me that he's like, you know, we get people who come in here and ask for that. He's like, it doesn't matter. I was like, really? Because like literally every rib recipe you see, it tells you to cut it off and then season. He's like, nah. He's like, that seasoning's not getting in there. Don't don't shoot me, please do not shoot me as the messenger, and don't shoot the butcher either. But just know that there is. This is from the Central Market butcher. Maybe that's what we get for going to Central Market. But did you get the brats? Get a good no, I never it. got the brats. That's I, I abandoned ship. I was Wait. like, dude, I, this is ridiculous. So you were gonna get your brats from the butcher? Yeah. They do. They have some real nice freshies over there, just okay. waiting to get eaten. Dude, they had a black pepper garlic one that I was like, that might be naughty. Is Dylan a butcher brat or is he like a Johnsonville brat? No, man, he's every man's brat. You can get a good look He's at a, a T-bone by sticking your head up a butcher's ass, you know. 
That's sick. I love that movie. I don't know when the last time I bought Barats, honestly. So cool. Not much of a Barat guy. Oh, I love we're gonna, them. We're gonna call you Barat Obama. Oh, that's good. <laughs> we're, n- we're not. Barat Obama has legs. We're not. Damn it! People are gonna run. With oh me. yeah, they are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, I've never been happier about something. Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, Go ahead and cook me. I'm a brat now. 165 degrees. <laughs> Let me sit for a few minutes so the mm, juice is set in. A little mustard, a <laughs> little relish, maybe some chopped onion. Artisanal, uh, whatever. <laughs> Goes well with a uh, dill pickle. <laughs> this is stupid. No bun, no bun. I think, you know, 12, 12 minutes in, I think we can objectively say that we just absolutely crushed our debate talk. Dude, I don't want to talk about the debate, guys. Don't. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't actually talk politics, which is nice. Well, I want to get into some policy stuff because I just don't think either of these guys articulated a health care plan like I was looking for as an undecided. Mm-hmm. That's all I have to say. Mm-hmm. Kidding. Things nice. were just getting so hairy last night, but they didn't have to because with Manscaped, yeah. that can be remedied all you need. Oh, you would yeah. You could connect the, the two conversations, but you did somehow. Well, today's podcast, an International Podcast Day, is brought to you by Manscaped, who's the best men's below-the-waist grooming company that there is. It doesn't get better. Who's better? You can't name anybody. Dave, I'm you? not even going to try, Dave. Dude, they got Gronk doing it now. What? If it's good enough for Gronk, it's good enough for me. Mm-hmm. Gronk looks like a dude who's well manscaped. Look, y'all got to be trimmed downstairs. I'll just go ahead and say it. You got to be trimmed downstairs. Nobody wants to see that that shit. Nobody. No. No. Nobody. I don't want to look in the mirror and see that. There's no bigger confidence no. boost than just buzzing off every piece of hair on your body. Oh. You ever... <laughs> Never mind. What, uh, no, Do you, Have we ever what, David? Nothing. Manscaped specifically said to go off on these reads. Your partner <laughs> yes. will appreciate it. I was just thinking, like, before you have, like, a, a boy's trip, do you ever manscape just in case, like, one of your boy's pants is you because your friends are s- disgusting <laughs> dirt bags? And I you can't believe I'm saying this, but I would only do that if I knew I was hanging out with your friends. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I don't I don't trim for, for, the, for my don't. Boys. We don't really do it anymore, but, like, back in, back in like, college and right out, like, I mean, pantsing your buddy was still a funny thing yeah. to do. <laughs> You never knew when you're gonna get pants. Uh, Flounder's unfortunately been he's found that out many times. Well he's he's a manscaped <laughs> man. guy though. He is, man. Don't man. Pants flounder. I, we don't <laughs> What's what's more rude, pantsing or table topping? Dude, pantsing. Ta- table topping your wiener to everybody, man. That's fair, because you saw well, it's not the table topping could hurt you more. Yeah. But the pantsing, if you're not using manscaped, could be more embarrassing table-topping and plus exposing your wiener is to the public. It's funny. It is funny. Because it's like you're not you're not gonna get hurt. Tabletop on a, it's a soft it's a soft fall. I never I never tabletop someone so hard that they're gonna get hurt. If they get hurt, it's because they got weak wrists. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it on tile though. Like do it outside in the like. In a, it's a like beach. Playing, it's a beach thing. I will say if you're manscaping, do it on tile. If you're buzzing, oh, if well, you're that. buzzing, you got to do it over something. Dude, you the, can't do it over like a carpet sweet. or something. Yeah. I was buzzing. I was manscaping this morning. The boys were buzzing. Yeah. I've done. I've, I've, I've done it in the backyard That's before. Bad. Are you? What? Just what? so there's like no cleanup. It's like he just goes in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like tumble, there's just tumbleweed Bro, just going in front of oh, your house? I'm not making that Dude, up. Dude, wind. There's wind that blows. I'm, I'm, I'm saying the cleanup is easy. Fresco trim. Yeah, Dylan likes the tingle. You don't even. Okay, so I feel bad when I brush Randy in the backyard. <laughs> I'm not out there shaving my balls. It's it's just like a little bit of, a little bit of hair. It's not like it's, uh, you know, it's not tumbleweeding down the down the street or anything. It's like, look, Dad, there must have been a mountain lion here that shed. It's private. There's no one can see. It's just, uh, you know, the cleanup. It's easy cleanup. There there's like a, a tumbleweed blowing by. The next thing you know, there's like two gunslingers outside about to duel. Hey, it's cordless. You can take it anywhere, really. You can. They also have a nice, beautiful stand that you can just put it right next to your, like, whatever. Your little toothbrush cuff that you have for you quit. Dave's going to try well, it in the backyard. Like, Watch this. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not. Nah, you my are. neighbors can see in my backyard. Uh, see, mine can't. It's nice. Oh, must be must be nice, dude. Cool, man. Yeah. Either way, <laughs> upgrade your your manscaping routine. Get twenty percent off plus free shipping with the code Steam at manscaped.com. Level up your hygiene routine with only the best manscaping tools. Your balls will thank you. Like I said, get twenty percent off and free shipping with code Steam at manscaped.com. That's twenty percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code Steam. Trim your junk with manscaped. You guys heard about these parrots over in England? Was that a ten minute read or am I high? Dude, it was. You're high. It was your okay. fault. So we took so much Adderall Ready. this morning before coming in here that, like, reads just feel like seggies at this point. You wanted to tell your story about you putting on a show for the neighborhood. <laughs> Seriously, oh. though, when I brush Randy in the backyard, like, <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of hair. It's a scene. It is, it is absurd. Can I tell you guys about these parrots? 
It's been a couple days since we've had a good animal story. You ready for this? Yes. A wildlife park has been forced to remove five newly adopted parrots from public display after they started swearing at customers. Yes. Bosses at the Lincolnshire Wildlife Park said that they accepted a new flock of birds on August 15th, and the group taught each other to swear while in quarantine together. The park's chief executive officer, Steve Nichols, said the naughty antics made the staff laugh, which only encouraged the birds even more. But swift action had to be taken after the parrots began shouting profanities in front of guests and then laughing about it. What kind of shit were they saying? I don't know. I wish they had, like, specifics on what these guys were saying. What kind of swear words do you think they have? Uh, Dylan, what's your deal? Fucking pussy. Wow. <laughs> Calling people it's like really antagonist. Boy, stuff like that. Hey, like, what do you boy. do if you're trying to take your kid out to, like, the, the park, and then all of a sudden you just have these parents just, like, mobbing on just you? I don't shit. see what the problem is here. I mean, like, are we at that point in, in, in language and culture where, I mean, we can't let these parents say what they want? We're having fun here. It's the First Amendment. Right. You have a bird at home, Dave. Have you taught it to speak? You're a big bird guy, I right? I do. Yeah, well, I've taught. I've not taught my bird how to speak, but my, my pet lizard. My pet lizard. I haven't had any luck there either. And also my snack. My snake and my snack. snack. Isn't snack like a... Isn't that a meme? Haven't there been stories That's a Harry of, Potter character. ...of parrots or some kind of bird that can talk, like, incriminating their homeowner in some way? I'm sure. I mean, I'm. I feel like that's like a like a viral story, or like right. That's why I'm asking. When you get down to the, the bottom of the article, those there's those three gotcha. like clickbait things that'll like give you a virus if you click them, and one of them's like, you won't believe what this parrot I'd said. His own over did. Had to gain 120 pounds of yeah. of lean muscle in two weeks. Or yeah. there's just like a very if you're a parrot. There's a very um, native ads uh, support the, the the publishing industry, Dylan. I, Pro- you, programmatic uh, revenue. There's the one where there's just, like, a woman with, like, large breasts, and it just says, like, her back must hurt. And it's just like, what? Yeah. I'm not clicking like, this. Yeah, my, I, my I, I, buddies used to just send me screenshots from PGP because we had, like, really ridiculous programmatic ads at the bottom for a while, and they were like, this has gotten out of control. Yeah. Like, what What are these ads? Yeah, there was one that uh, this woman had three boobs or something. Yes, I've Remember seen that, that one? one? That was, that was a total recall. Like, what could this possibly be about? That was, yeah, that was, that was a, a movie. <laughs> what seemed to be a I've super, like, why, why, why pomegranate is saving lives. Across the yeah. uh, across the country, or there'd yeah. be like a like there'd be like a very well known like child star, and it'd be like you won't believe where they are now. You click on it, they're to see dead. Like that one person, like, and then there's a forty slideshow thing, and they're the oh, last one, and it's like oh, oh they're doing well. That Nothing better. Jesse Goldberg is doing well. He's doing yeah. better. He's, great. he's on a roller coaster ride, man. I, I I wish nothing for the but the best for him. They need to do a new remake just to get him back in the game. Get him some skin. In the I game. I've, I've had that. Did thought. you see what Mark Cuban did for uh, Delonte West? I did. What do you do? So Delonte West has fallen on really hard times, if Probably. you are unfamiliar. I am. Um, like, may even be homeless or something, like, on drugs, stuff like that. He, is, uh, he, was, he battles mental illness, drugs, yeah. and he was homeless. Someone spotted him at, I believe, a gas station asking for money and maybe, like, put it on social media. Got around to Mark Cuban, and he went and picked him up. Put Got him in, in rehab. Touch. Yeah, put him in a – he's now in a facility. He was a Mav at one point, correct? Yeah, he was a fun Maverick, man. He was, like – it was not a good Mavericks team. But he was like, you know, he could score a little bit undersized, but it was kind of cool. He's edgy. Big ups to Cubes, man. He used that's to ride tight. a motorcycle with loaded weapons. It's okay. Man, that's this. I'm looking at the article now. This yeah. is sad. It is. Damn. Why don't we give him a podcast? It's podcast day. Oh, yeah. Delante and friends. I no Sicilian can refuse a request on podcast day. So Pizza? Oh, Pizza to Joey in Baltimore. <laughs> Can I circle back to the parrots real quick? Yep. Now that they're free we agents. We were staying in parrots. Now that they're... F- God dang it. Now that they're free Adderall's agents. wearing off for me. Killed, <laughs> you just killed the vibe, dude. <laughs> I need more. Have you thought about bringing them to Wilmot's? The parrots? Yeah, they're free agents. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if we can find a better fit. <laughs> do they require payment or anything? Yeah, how do we acquire these birds? You talked to their agent. They, they almost agent. acquired a, what were we going to get that one time, a kangaroo? Remember that? We tried. They never emailed me back. They probably emailed my Grand X account back like months later. I was like, oh, hey, just saw your email. We don't. Che- we only check it about Is once that every them, four man? months. No, that was, I remember sitting there. I remember exactly where I was when I sent that email. I forget his name, but we tried to get that kangaroo. Hmm. You can adopt him in Texas. But we wanted one of the jacked kangaroos that can beat people up. Yeah. How are you going to write this whole ass article and not say the cuss words that they're saying at the people? That's, that's all we care about. Well, they were, they, in Engl- they were in England. So do you boy. think that they had some like, ooh, they said oh, the word boy, that bro. you don't say over here. 
It starts with a C. The C word? Yeah. Crap? See you next Tuesday? Yeah. That's big over there. Yeah, it's big. They like to call people that. I yeah. was very surprised Based when I went to the Chelsea game at how many people were just freely yelling that at the players. That's uh, that's like the, the, the worst word, in right? Ever? Over here? Yeah. I could think of some other ones. I don't know if there are other uh, like worse words. Just it's fun sometimes. I, I mean, like cuss words, Randy. Not like, of course, they're like they're slurs. You can say they're worse. Do you have any stuff, words that you just hate? Thank you for knowing. Like, you know that. how like every <laughs> everyone you've ever dated has hated the word moist before. Um, we used to work with some people. Moist doesn't really get me. I don't really care. I'm more just, of a damp guy. Love Erica Dampier. Vincent Dampus. Yeah. I don't know that reference. I just hockey player. Nice. What's the uh, uh, the Beaver Damp? Rural. 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 The Hoover Damp. No one. Th- this is stupid. That, they need to retire that word from the dictionary. Rural. Brett, Brett's first. Rural. Brett's first like, like action item when he joined Wash Media was to teach me how to say that word, and it still didn't work. I just remember one day during a podcast before Brett officially started, he just said, "How much do you hate saying the word rural?" <laughs> rural. Yeah, that word stinks. I'm so gun shy. <laughs> There's a lot of good boy names that I've had to rule out because when paired with the last name Ruff, it just doesn't sound – it sounds too, like, cartoony. Like so Ralph. Ri- I like out. the name Ralph a lot. Ralph Ruff. Ralph Ruff. Ralph Ruff. Ralph Ruff. Yeah, you, can't Ralph Ruff. <laughs> you can't do that. Ralph Ralph. Ralph. Yeah, like his friends are going to see him, and, like, and he's going to be well-dressed. Uh, Ralph Ruff. Like, hey, what's up, Ralph Ruff? <laughs> oh, there's Ralph Ruff. I mean, all right, dude, we get it. My name's Ralph. Why is he friends with J-Bone? I don't know. No, I love the lightning. Yeah. No, big lightning guy. No. no. <laughs> Don't even. It's not fair. <laughs> These fucking parrots. These fucking parrots, man. You guys want to move on to our next news story? This is a Randy special. Randy implored us to talk about this. So if, if we have any complaints, it's all, just blame Randy. I'm probably going to hate it. What is it? Man arrested over jailbreak attempt after helicopter booking blunder. I mean, we got jailbreaks. We got helicopters this seems like right up our alley did you guys ever watch prison break i loved prison my dad was all in i loved prison break uh prison break is like weirdly huge in australia it's like they're breaking bad (laughs) really they talk dude i follow a couple people from uh love island australia and they talk about it like it's as good as breaking bad at one point i saw a poll that they put up and it was like all right you have to get rid of one show sopranos prison break breaking bad i was like what like is this really that popular over there I don't like that at all. You guys want to hear what this guy did? I'm reading about it now. Yeah, this is kind of tight. I mean, it's not, but just read, read the shit. He's trying. Well, now it's not letting me read it. So can you read it? Cause, there like, you go, Dylan. I, I clicked on this site too many times, and now it's locking me out for too many free articles. A criminal who hijacked and diverted a helicopter in midair in an attempt to break his wife out of a Belgian prison has been arrested after detectives found he used his own name to book the flight. Mm. Mike Gielen, 24, threatened the helicopter's pilot using a replica handgun as he sought to spring Crystal Appelt, 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 27, from Birkendall Women's Prison in South Brussels on Friday. Where she you love Brussies. Where she was being held on suspicion of murdering an ex-boyfriend. Oh, come on, man. Why is this man? dude selling out to save a girl who might have murdered her ex? He's so only, he doesn't get murdered, too? He's simping, dude. He is simping he's right a now. He's a simp. Yeah, dude. it's a simp shit. The, their wedding photo, he, he's like a total dork, man. Dude, she wore a choker necklace during the wedding. <laughs> she looks like she would kill me. You can't wear it. That's hard. You're dating a bad bee if she's wearing a choker necklace as she's walking what down What is the she aisle. doing? You can't wear a choker. A, it's like a black choker with a white wedding dress, too. She's wearing a tiara. Why, don't tell her how to dress. It's her day. It's just a weird move, man. What's just, next? You don't like her middle part? She doesn't have one. No, she's got the Karen swoop. This guy looks like he simps big time. Oh, How does uh, oh, that is a Karen swoop. Can you just book like random helicopters? Like, can I just sign up for this and just do that? He hijacked. Remember, it, Uber man. was doing a helicopter thing. Maybe yeah. that was in more certain times. You can go from like Manhattan to JFK for four hundred dollars, but it only takes five minutes. That's yeah, probably, probably worth it. The helicopter yeah. circled. Yeah, hung over after a long weekend in New York. Sounds great. The helicopter circled the prison several times, but Geelan's plan was foiled as the pilot was unable to land within the courtyard. <laughs> While the helicopter flew over the prison, the inmates cheered and waved, <laughs> but Gielan became nauseous and had to put his head out of the helicopter five times to be sick. <laughs> what the fuck? What a botching. <laughs> this guy blew it, man. This guy, he literally blew it. Like, he could not have, it not, could not have gone worse oh. for him. 
That's really funny. Oh, do you know they met in prison? Oh, that's beautiful. You love. Wait, to see I am that. very confused. How do you mean Who prison? prison? I thought it was a female. Was, was, was he, he like a, a guard? guard? He was a convicted drug smuggler. Co-ed prison? Yeah. These are some bad boys. I didn't know that was a mixed thing. gender Hasselt prison last year. When both Crystal and I had visitors in January 2019, we bumped into each other in the visitors area. <laughs> Look at that love story. Look How that. about that? What a meet cute. Who would, play, who would play the best prison rom com pairing? Will Ooh, McConaughey. And that's a good question. I mean, yeah, probably just McConaughey and Hudson. Yeah. Like they could make they could just do what they did to Charlize Theron and Monster and just make her look real rough and then have her have to glow up at the century when they finally get married. According to Geelan's uh, lawyer, is this Maxwell or the guy? Uh, the the dude. Oh, yeah, okay. he says I can't confirm that my client admitted that he wanted to free his wife from prison. Seems like a pretty open and shut case here. Yeah, Oops. dude, like that that's a bad yeah, lawyer. He he fucked up. It's like the lawyer from uh making a murderer. <laughs> that guy was clueless. Oh yeah. What about attorney client privilege here? What's I mean even if he says it, you can't be like, Well, yeah, I mean you just What did he the, what the lawyer say? He said that his his client admitted to wanting to break his wife out of prison. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. He had, like a, he had like a banner behind the the chopper that just said like I'm coming, babe. <laughs> well, come on, I got you. Yeah, what I'm was he gonna? Go. What was his method? Was he gonna drop a rope? No, he wanted to land. He was gonna land it and just get. Oh no, no, no! You gotta come do. On, you gotta babe. be more tactical than that. You gotta on, drop babe. the rope. Hop on, we're getting out of here. Like well, it wasn't I, gonna work, dude. We, we know he wanted to drop ropes, Dave, but he we wanted to land in the co- the the courtyard so she could just. Hop I guess in. I guess he knew when she had like uh, recess or <laughs> rec time, whatever it's called in prison. E- sounds like he wanted erect time. <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't don't Stop sassy wolf that. Hands on the don't hip, sassy dude. wolf that. If if I'm if I'm in that prison in the hell if if he lands I'm hopping on that thing. Imagine, well, imagine been, just like forty people just like rushing onto the helicopter. Let's get out of here. I'm just laughing at Brad Obama still. <laughs> <laughs> dude, come on, we moved on from that. I know, but every time it comes into my head, I just start laughing. God. Should we do Small Biz September? I'm a fucking idiot. I accidentally booked my haircut for tomorrow, not today. Oh, you fool. Damn it. You dumb dumb. And I have to call him to change it. What a pain in the ass. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm kidding. I can I can hold out for 10 more minutes. I'll cut your hair today. Don't cut my they hair. They can fix it tomorrow if I do a bad job. No, not my hair. Can I use my Manscaped? The last, I sh- I'll use your Manscaped. You remember where I got my hair cut last? Supercuts? <laughs> yeah, because it was like the only place and I needed to get it. I can't remember what we were doing. But I needed to get it was get it cut. It's probably podcast day. It's probably podcast month. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I went to supercuts and it was not a good cut. Which is weird, man. You know, like normally you expect like a great one from there. Brad, it's the final day of September. We can finally wake Randy up. What? He's yeah. been making that joke for three days. Yeah, he has. What a fun small biz September. I appreciate all the submissions. A lot of small businesses out there that uh, listeners are part of. This was fun. So what I'm going to do for the last day of Small Business September is kind of run through the rest of them. Okay. This is my idea, okay. by the way. Let's just get that on the table. Dylan, thank you for the idea. Mm-hmm. So Dylan's idea to run through the rest of them, so he's going to do it. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I'll, I'll fuck it up, dude. Spooky. Yeah, we no, had a go bunch. Go back and forth. We had yeah, a bunch well, of submissions. Go back and forth. You want to you trade licks here? Let's trade licks. Okay. Just, just, I'll no, start. Just go back and forth. <clears throat> Shouts to Andrew Wood of the, uh, the Wood Hello. Insurance Group in Conroe, Texas. He's just selling insurance. Only to Texas residents, though. Check out Andrew Wood. Uh, Thank you for that disclaimer. Austin Edmonds from Edmonds for the Edmonds Insurance (laughs) Benefits. A lot of Edmonds going on This is the one I'm most excited for. In El Segundo, California. I love El Segundo. The the Edmonds clan. Austin Edmonds from Edmonds for the Edmonds Insurance (laughs) Benefits. I love that. That Did he found the town? Did his family? You got to think the Edmonds are are involved somehow. Shouts to Not Stranded, K-N-O-T in Houston, Texas. Not Stranded dot shop. They make mask holders that are cool. And you put them around your neck, so when you oh. don't have to put them in your, in like your croquis? car. Croquis? Yeah, they're like croquis for your mask. Oh, hell yeah. Well, here's one near and dear to our hearts. Big Will. We haven't heard from Big Will in a long time. He hopped in my, my uh, Warzone party last night, but I was about to go play with KJ. Oh, I, play the, I played with him that time. I didn't know it was him for like the first 10 minutes. I was yeah. like, this is Dude, Big up? Will? Why, why doesn't he call anymore? I miss getting that. What a hey, honestly, he might, I honestly might just miss his voicemail. I need, to, I need to identify his number so I can know to Apparently play he's him. still listening. But just doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Anywhere. Okay. Anyway, uh, Together Home Care in Indiana, helping folks out getting in-home health solutions, like getting up to get food, taking a shower, etc. That's a very noble endeavor there, I would say. You, you want to go? Soon. You want to go back to back? This is your boy. Yeah, Gabby's Barbecue. 
the, uh, my boy Zach, who works at it Lifetime with Dave and I. Um, Gabby's Barbecue I don't know this, and Catering on Rainy Street in Austin, Texas. Okay, um, I would I would like to try it. I'm into barbecue. He wants to hook us up with some Q so he can try it um, and maybe even give us a little bit of merch, and I'm all over that. Just know that I will fuck up all the barbecue. Gabby's Barbecue, Rainy Street, Austin, Texas. Check it out. Shouts to Austin and his girlfriend from Bowling Green, Will, the Ohio area. I'm more of a bowling for soup guy. Soup's a perfect fucking food. Eh. But Ugh. right one oh one. Are there a, a I Dallas? That take. I couldn't hit that take more. <laughs> uh, anyway, they they have a business called Boho and Bark, which our friends at Fetch are, are a similar company. They're just making our pups look good. That's, Boho and Bark out of the so Bowling Green area. So Fetch. Matt from Savannah, Georgia, in Coastal Pool Management. Okay. They manage pools. They manage pools. On the coast. Pools. Uh, take a hit when pools didn't open for... Took a hit, excuse me. It took a hit. Did, when pools didn't open for half the summer, but they're coming back strong. Hell yeah. It's just a man. I love pool management. Oh, coastal pool management. Coastal pool though. management in Savannah. Coastal pool. Matt, if I am ever wealthy enough to have a home in Savannah, Georgia with a pool, you're the guy I'm calling. Mm-hmm. Who else would you call, really? I don't know. That's the, that's Savannah, the Georgia's got to be a tight place to have a pool because you're just on the beach and then back in the pool. You can go to Paula Dean's restaurant. <coughs> I bet you the butter's the main ingredient. It's probably very unhealthy. Yeah. Also uh, racist. <laughs> That's to Noah from North Carolina. He just sells weed with his buddy Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is actually, someone actually submitted that. <laughs> oh, it's fucking hysterical. It's a small business <laughs> with his buddy Trevor. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, if you need Noah, just let Dude, him know. If, if I need some bud in North Carolina, Noah's my guy. Yeah. He's, he's been doing it for a long time, he I said. I don't know if this last one is legit. Um, the headless parrot in location redacted, it looks like. Yeah. Where they're setting up two dollar you call it from five to close on days that end in Y. Yeah. Not really sure why they would redact the location. Yeah, that's like want the people very to go. Important part of getting people to your your business. Well, it's like a, you have to you have to look it up thing. Sorry, Will. I they submitted that. They were one of the submissions I had to throw. Sorry, in. man. It's okay, man. I guess we're just doing. Uh, that's not. Yeah, that's you're not exclusive. only competition. You're not exclusive. No you're one from small NC. business. Anymore. No, it's it's healthy to have competition. It's healthy. You franchise to like forty people. They're gonna be shook when I have five parrots that have heads, though. That swear it. I wouldn't know a parrot if it had a head on it. That just might. It might. It might have a blood war that starts from it though, and they just start stealing my parrots and chopping their heads off. <laughs> he just them. sells weed with his buddy Trevor. <laughs> it's a small business. Yeah, dude. Shout out Noah and Trevor. Just right off your car <laughs> payments. Let's do this weekend in fun, presented by Miller High Life. Well, first and foremost, thank you to everyone who reached out, sent in your small businesses. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Now it's time for this weekend in fun. As I said, presented by Miller High Life. Miller High Life brings the pride to the simple things in life. Miller High Life is an unpretentious quality beer with refreshing champagne-like tiny bubbles and an iconic glass bottle that's accessible to all. Dave, you had a Miller High Life recently. Oh, buddy, I had two. Ooh. Actually, that was my official game day uh, beer at Dylan's. As I watched the Texas game, and he was awkwardly quiet in the corner. Reeling. Yeah, I was steaming. <laughs> I was just, I was just enjoying uh, Miller High Life. Just a classic, just honest brew. Love it with champagne, just tiny little bubbles that just fizz in your mouth. Oh, it's so good. Oh yeah. They were even founded on the belief that everyone should enjoy the good life, which is why he created the Champagne of Beers, which High Life has been famously known as for over 100 years. That's a good resume, if you ask me. It's a lot of years, man. If someone gives me their resume and they're like, "Yeah, I've been doing this for a hundred years," I'm like, "Well." You're hired. Welcome. We were you only looking for like three to five years experience, but you have a hundred. It's pretty good. So, yeah, you're hired. Yep. Miller High Life, the champagne of beers, a quality beer within everyone's reach. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Dylan, what are you getting into this weekend, man? I have a, a sexy little weekend lined up, I believe. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. Um, oh, wow. Wow. I'm playing Congrats golf. on the sexiness. I'm oh. playing golf on Friday. And I'm playing with my friend David. Hey, asshole. Save it. I'm playing with my friend Klein. No. What? I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. And playing with my friend Ross. Not, not b- noted not New of, York Times of, best-selling yeah, author. Oh. Not, not, not w- Noted Manchester Ball. United supporter Ross. Um, Is he? Yeah, oh, yeah. Ross Winchie. Is that how you say it? I believe it's pronounced Winchie. Winchie. Hell of a nice guy. Works works with Klein. Probably like Schwapsch. Yeah. Loves him. I played golf with him in Denver before. Good player? Uh, he's he's probably gonna beat me. It's no. not saying much, but oh, Dylan, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm the four seed. I, I, yeah, I'm probably the four seed on this trip. Anyway, can't wait. Um, maybe get a dinner off afterward. Who knows? 
When does the sexiness start? That's my question. Uh, it, it just start. It started with the golf. Okay. It actually, it ends with the golf too because I come back Saturday and I'm just going to hang out with Parks all weekend. What are you doing after the golf? Hopefully, we're going to go get dinner and drink somewhere. Where? I want to know. I want you to come with. So it's, it's a collaborative uh, decision. My, okay. You I'm down with that? I am. What city are you going to have? Will your wife in? be um, accompanying you to DFW? Yeah, but I don't think she's she's not playing golf with us. Okay, I know. And I think I she's, she has all. I think she has an obligation Friday night. Obligation. It's looking for the boys. No chilling. Oh, the boys. <laughs> My weekend is. Um, I don't know. I, I wasn't gonna say sexy, but the more Dylan describes it, it sounds sexy. I'm, Have I'm you going. seen the weather Friday in Dallas? Oh. Uh, super sexy. Give me, give me a low and a high. Low, fifties. Uh, high, eighty, like maybe seventy eight. You don't think I'm going to peel that pullover off? Sunny, turn? David. No, probably before that. So you don't, you don't I love wait. it. Wait till you see my fit on Friday night. You're going to fucking wet yourself when you see that shit. Just wait. Just like pee wait. or the other thing? By the way, Barrett just came through dripping. Okay. He's dripping right the, now. So I was cracking up because, like, I don't know how much Parks knows Barrett. And, like, so Barrett walks in with just just superb fall hat on. And Parks, was like, Parks was, like, stunned by the fit. And I was just like, man, I bet he he wants one of those hats. Well, well he, dude, he, he did the swag move of wearing the shades all the way from outside to in. He didn't pop the shades off until he got in. Why would you? So he had the fall hat on with the flat brim. It's felt, of course. Uh, the shades and then a mask. He just like, who is this? Well, he's, he's so used to seeing fedoras that now swag that he sees Lord. like an actual drip hat, like he's, he's just in shock. Hey, how come you didn't like my tweet last week when I said I I was asked people if I should play as you on PGA? I, I didn't appreciate it very much. So yeah, I'm going back up to Dallas Fort Worth. I'm gonna play golf Friday. Without your wife. Uh no, she's not playing golf. Sunday? I'm still kinda of waiting to see if trying to catch a cowboy Trying to maybe catch a cowboy game. Oh. You're boy? trying to you're trying to see Baker IRL. Trying to feel dangerous. Yeah. I will not be going to that game. I gotta get back. Mm, cool. Didn't hang, want you to go anyway. Hang out see with you later. Might Bye. drag me to the dinosaur park again. Who knows? Saturday. I don't really know what our plans are Saturday. Be hanging out, man. Bringing Randy up there. Let him see his grandparents. My okay. parents. His dog. Oh. Got it. Makes sense. Makes sense. That's it, man. Not quite as sexy as Dylan's, but oh. sexy enough. I got a sexy weekend. Yeah? Your boy's got a sexy weekend. Tell us about it, bitch. I'm going to Aspen. Ooh, mm, California. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Nice. It's real nice. Yeah, I've never been to Aspen before, so I'm going to Aspen this weekend. I never have either, man. I'm very excited. We're going to do some hiking. Going to do some eating. What shoes are you wearing to hike? I bought some on sneakers. You ever heard of those? They're Swiss made. You've seen Isn't them at the gym. Are you going to put them on? <laughs> That's not, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. On sneakers. Yep. Are they the kind with the, the toes that are separate? I wish, dude. Those are swag. Those are not nah, swag. I, the, the ons that I got, I have to admit, aren't very swag, but they are well made and they're quite comfortable. And I, I decided to buy some for this trip to to do some hiking in. So I'm quite excited about it. Good for you. And uh, I don't really know what's in store for me, to be honest. This weekend, we don't have a ton of plans. No snow, than, right? No snow. It's peak mm. colors right now. Well, maybe on the back end of the peak colors, but we got some color up there. Okay. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Dude, hell yeah. I am gonna buy a cowboy hat. Um. Okay. You will, Dylan. You're gonna I, beat me to it, but that's you're fine. like. In, I feel like you're somewhat invested in my cowboy hat. Adventure. I really am, and so I'm gonna send you some pics while yes. I'm trying them on, just so you know. You know which shape. Dude, you're no, going no, no, with. no offense, Dylan. Send it to Flounder. Okay, I'll do both. I'll I put mean, it. I'll put it why, in the Puck why Boys can't you put group me chat. on there too, David. I mean, you can, but like, just know, like, the Puck Boys group chat will be revived. Have you decided Ooh. on a shape? No, I've got a couple different shapes. Okay. Oh, you might want to include Fly Fishing Charlie on that too. There's a number yeah. of people that you that could have input. Might Maybe well too many cooks. Might as well throw Barrett on there too. I might just make a group text called Will's Cowboy Hat Discussion. I'm gonna change the name of it to Dylan's when I when I come through and, and purchase. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll get the whole squad in there and we'll we'll get get down to brass tacks and get something. Can I be dope. included too? You can no, be included. No, don't include that. Eh. He'll ruin it. I need all I need. He's a hat from New too. York City. New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You are from New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Brett, what are you doing this weekend? Big weekend for your boy. I'm um, doing nothing. Ah. <laughs> I'm doing nothing. Um, I uh, 
I was I would have liked to go up to Dallas, but we're gonna give the credit card a break for the weekend. So okay. uh, I'm gonna hang out and 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 chill, work on myself. You know, a little self care. Do some face masks. Be extremely jealous because the Gem Saloon officially is open for indoor um, indoor hangouts as of today. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, live vicariously through through some pals that are going. So how to Sean, the bartender, great dude. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of all I have planned. I might do uh, might might do a Houston trip. Uh, Sigoth is getting a car. Why are we doing Sigoth still? What kind of whip she gonna push? I don't know. That's okay. the, that's why I might go and oh. help out. Get on car gurus, not spawn. Those new Bentley SUVs are pretty sick. Yeah, well, we'd have to do uh, some financing for that, but financing. <laughs> that's how they say it at the. Uh, Mr. Purple. At the Bentley Indoor. dealership, that's how they say it. Have you ever been to a Bentley dealership? Probably not. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. You know what? I might do a, a solo round. I did one last Thursday, Solo 9, with uh, a guy that we got paired up with on the first tee. Great dude. Great dude. Was it Noah and Trevor? Trevor and Noah? <laughs> Who was it? Who'd you get paired with? I don't know his name. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are still keeping in touch. It was a hard, it's a hard <laughs> to friends pronounce, forever. Hard it's to pronounce name. I don't remember the dude who shot seventy four in Crocs. I don't remember his name from Lions. That guy was tight. told me I needed to embrace my pimpness. Drew, it was not Drew. True, Drew and Crocs is kind of a funny thought though. God, yeah, might get a uh, might see might see if there's any locals around this weekend. Okay, okay. very cool. Okay, that's about it though. Break, you got any breaking news for us? Will, as a matter of fact, I do. I'm glad you asked. It's a little choose your adventure here, Dylan. Mm-hmm. Would you like to go Subway sandwiches, Parisian bangs, Way down to bang! or animal bravery? Parisian bangs? Yeah, Parisian bangs. Sounds like my she recommended bangs, tab. She bangs. Oh, oh baby, baby, but she, she moves, moves. She moves. The skies of Paris. Okay, I guess we'll start there, bitch. Were rocked by the deafening sonic bang. Way down to from a jet which passed over the city. Now, the thing about this headline was it's, it, there's almost too many circling back bits. Yeah. So I had to include it. Uh, I, I actually watched a video. It's yeah. A, quite a quite a loud bang. Bye. Bye. It was loud, man. The tennis match was interrupted. Uh, Dave, this one, this one kind of comes comes at you. Subway sandwiches are uh, they've been deemed too sugary. To meet legal definition of being bread. What? Yep, the Supreme Court has found that the bread and Subway's heated sandwiches have too much sugar in it to meet the legal definition of being bread. Supreme Court of what? Sandwiches. Sandwiches, Dave. Sandwiches. Just you named Joey. Chief Justice Jared. Oh, too much sugar. Dude, he's a pedophile. That's weird. Yeah, it turns out not a good. He's Joe? in jail. Supreme Court Joe or, or Jared? Jared? Oh yeah, Jared's a pedophile. Uh. You have anything to say for yourself? I didn't bake the bread. I do remember the time that we forgot to make the bread the night before. It messed up, and like we got a call from our our boss Anita. She just goes, "We have no bread. We have no bread." <laughs> We're like, "Oh fuck, no, we're gonna do." Oh, no. Then I got left off the schedule. Oh no! So, why does she sound like Sassy Wolf Dave? She was. Where is her husband? <laughs> There's no way they're gonna hear this. He, uh, he <laughs> you, don't, you never know. He talked he talk like this. He's like, hey, Bob, want some cheese with that? That's how he talked. We still do this voice to this day. It's because he got like a fight and got like his throat slashed. Oh, my oh, God. He's a rough motherfucker, dude. <laughs> God, <laughs> dude hell yeah. Hey, Bob. And he would, okay. I, he would he would order, when somebody was ordering a sandwich, like he would, and like, like we're there, and if it's busy, you know, you'd be there, you're working the line next to him, and he would ask somebody, like, oh, yeah, what else can I get you? And then he would like look down and he would say shit under his breath. Like, Motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you are the stop. You are the manager of this store. Uh, you should you shouldn't do that. That's bad boy shit, dude. Yeah. That's it. I, I like I don't know. I'm the that's great that they're getting uh called out for too much sugar. Yeah. That was almost the name of our sports pod. Too much sugar? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a baking podcast by Wash Media. Uh I don't that's that's surprising. I need to look more into this. I don't I didn't know this was before the Supreme Court. Yeah, of uh, of Ireland. Oh, out. really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> that makes a little bit more sense. Shots to Galway. Did it say, did it say how many gra- uh, grams? No, it did not. Okay. I've also clicked out of the article. That's okay. Hey, Will. Hello. 
Magawa, the rat that sniffs out landmines, has been awarded for his bravery. That's huge. A five-year-old wow. African giant pouched rat was recognized with a prestigious honor for his work detecting mines and explosives in Cambodia. That's tight, man. Uh, I never liked a rat, sir. Ah. Dude, please don't do a rat oh, sound. Man. Dude, don't don't video Will's face. <laughs> <laughs> never oh, can, man. Him. That's the rat accepting the award. That was my impression. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'd like to thank you. I kept it. What do they? What do you do? Just like put the metal in his mouth and like scamper off? No, it sounds like there was probably a couple rats to begin with, and he was the only one that didn't get popped. So he's just the last man standing, and they're yeah. like, "All right, give this guy an award." Give this guy an award. They yeah. started out with like at five thousand. They just sent him yeah. over a field. All of his boys are dead. Bow, bow, bow. It looked like uh, Tropic Thunder. It was a fire fight. And this this one was the dude that made it. He probably just chilled on the sidelines. I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> uh, shouts to him. That's all I got. Beautiful. What an episode. I love Pretty a good strong. service rat. Anything else before we get out of here? I'm anxious so. to see what's going down out of here. This, this hey. convo has been lit. Guys, hey. I'm going to give everyone a, a heartfelt, happy International Podcast Day. Mm-hmm. Let's get out of here. Bye. Bye.